games over the past six years. But at 645, it is time to switch gears, time to turn our attention back to the heat wave headed to the area. Yeah, it's going to be really, really tough out there for many. Again, elderly, young children. You don't want to be outside for any length of time. And if you uh, do live near some elderly, check in on them over the next couple of days. Make sure their air conditioning is working. Make sure their apartment or their home is cool because as the sun bakes and the heat grows, the inside of that house will warm up pretty good too. Take them over if you want for a nice cup of uh, iced tea or something like that into your house. Here's what we're looking at. 96 today, mostly sunny. The breakdown is as follows. Right now, 72, 89 at the lunch hour. Very humid. 95 at 5 o'clock. Can't rule out the risk of an isolated storm. We're currently in the low 70s across the majority of central Virginia. It is, as we said, just a little warm, a little steamy out there. Look at the pink map behind me. What does this mean? An excessive heat watch is now posted for Thursday through Saturday. We believe that the heat index will go from 105 to possibly as high as 115. In fact, look at Friday for you. This is the temperature forecast at 4 o'clock, 102 Richmond, 104 Petersburg. This is what the thermometer will read. Now we factor in the humidity and the heat index could be from 110 to 113 across the region. That is dangerous stuff, folks. All right, to the hour by hour weather we go. And again, an isolated storm cannot be ruled out between 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. this evening. Then after that, kind of steamy tonight, middle to upper 70s for your Thursday morning. Bright sunshine to begin. We finish out with the sunshine all day. Highs near 100 tomorrow. The heat index 105 to 110. Again, we talked about Friday being the hottest day of the week. Still very hot on Saturday. 100 heat index then 105 to 108. Sunday, partly sunny, 98, got a chance of some late day storms to try to break the heat into next week. Back to you. Thank you, Matt. Well